The bold and the beautiful latest update, will Steffi seek comfort in Liam's arms? Thomas's romantic surprise for hope ends in proposal. Finn and Steffi's marriage on the rocks? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, will Steffi kiss Liam in a moment of weakness? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Hope Logan, Annika Noel, may be right to worry about Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, and John Finn Finnegan's, Tanner Novlin, latest challenges. Both Finn and Steffi have been through something traumatic, so they both need someone to lean on. Unfortunately, this is a tricky situation since Steffi's actions wiped Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, off the map. Finn doesn't hold Steffi responsible for defending herself, but she's still the one who did the deed right there in their own home. It's hard for Finn to fully support Steffi, and it's just as hard for Steffi to support Finn since she doesn't really understand his grief. It's a tough dilemma around, so Finn and Steffi's best efforts to get through this together may not be enough. Steffi can see that Finn isn't coping well, but she's not coping well either. At some point, it may become too much for Steffi and leave her relying on another man for comfort. Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, already made it crystal clear to Finn that if he wouldn't step up for Steffi, her ex-husband would be waiting in the wings. If Finn can't be there for Steffi like a good husband should, Liam is perfectly fine with sliding back in and becoming her main source of support. Bold and the Beautiful has been showing us a lot of Finn's anguish in recent scenes, but Steffi's feeling tormented too and could use someone to talk to besides Sheila's biological son. As a result, Steffi may indeed lean on Liam, and history has proven that can lead to trouble for these two. Will Steffi surrender to temptation while she's vulnerable and kiss Liam in a moment of weakness? Steffi may seek the comfort that Finn can't truly give her right now and lock lips with Liam in the process. That could lead to more problems if Liam and Steffi take things to the bedroom, or if Finn walks in on the kiss or something more happening between them. It could be the last straw for Finn and Steffi's marriage, so we'll bring you more predictions on what's in store as Liam continues waiting for his chance to shine. Liam loves playing Rescue Ranger, so stick with us for updates on the bad news that could lead to. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Steffi and Finn's relationship will come with more obstacles in the coming weeks. Today's next update, Poppy visits Finn to discuss Luna's dad, and Thomas proposes to Hope again. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful, Luna opens up to Bill, Brooke comes around on Thomas, and Thomas pops the question. At Forrester, Thomas tells Ridge his encouragement, where Hope's concerned means the world. Ridge says life is short, find your future, grab it, hold on to it. That's exactly what Thomas intends to do, today. In the design office, Brooke can't deny that Hope is in a great place. Hope and Douglas seem to be thriving too, and Thomas seems to be in a better place as well. Hope teases, is this progress? Brooke can't deny the positive impact Thomas has had on her daughter's life. Hope thanks her for making an effort. This has been a wonderful time in her life, and she wants to be able to share it with her. I'm happy. So happy, and a large part of that is because of Thomas. At the cliff house, Poppy shows up at the door and gops at a shirtless Finn. Once he's dressed, Poppy tells him that Luna is hurt and disappointed. He asks, by RJ? She cries, no, by me. I've let my daughter down, Finn. And for the first time in her life, it's not me she wants to talk to, it's her father. Poppy explains she's been giving her the runaround since she was born, but Luna is finally fed up with her. Finn asks if she knows who the father is, and if she'd consider opening up to her. Poppy muses, it seems more and more like I have no choice. Finn tells her, well, that's your call, but what I don't understand is what I have to do with this. At Poppy's apartment, Bill learns Luna and her mother had a fight. He realizes she wishes she could talk to her dad. He's not her dad, but can be a good listener. Luna says it's kind of him to offer, but she probably shouldn't get into it. Bill says, fair enough. Luna offers him a drink. Bill asks if she has scotch. Luna says her mother doesn't drink. Bill nods, she's all about relaxing with her mints. Luna's expression changes, 
but she doesn't explain. Instead, she asks if Poppy has ever talked to him about her father. Bill admits he and Poppy have discussed Luna's father, and for a while he thought, maybe hoped, that it could be him. Brooke joins Ridge in the main office at Forrester and they canoodle after exchanging compliments. She tells him she had an interesting conversation with Hope about her and Thomas. Ridge says he had the same conversation with his son. He's convinced he's totally devoted to her. Brooke is beginning to think the same thing. Ridge thinks it's fantastic that she's changing her mind, but wonders why now? Brooke has seen positive changes in her daughter. She believes one of the reasons is because of Thomas. Ridge says that's all he can ask. Brooke wants happiness for her daughter. Ridge guesses Hope must be thrilled. Brooke says, Yeah, she thinks they should take it slow, but she's giving Thomas the benefit of the doubt. Only Hope knows what's best for her. Thomas joins Hope in the design office. She's tickled by how excited he is to see her. He promises it will always be that way. He has a garment bag and inside is a surprise for her. She feels lucky to be dating such a talented designer. Thomas says she's his muse. He presses her to try on the surprise and she coyly asks him to help her take off her clothes. He quickly says, okay. Soon, Hope emerges from behind the screen in the golden gown and tells Thomas it's stunning. There is nothing she'd change about it. It feels spectacular on and hits all the right places. Thomas says, it sure does. Hope thinks she should take it off, but he wants her to keep it on. You can have anything you want. I would give you the world. Hope says, you already have. Thomas tells her he has something planned and he wants her to wear it. He leads her out of the office. At the cliff house, Finn asks Poppy, the reason you're here to see me is about Luna's father? Poppy replies, yes. I need to talk to you about that. At Poppy's place, Luna tells Bill that RJ thought he might be her father too, the timeline matches up. Bill nods. That's why he asked Poppy if he was her father. Luna guesses she said no. Every time she asks her mother shuts down. Luna doesn't think there could be a legit reason for keeping this from her. Bill agrees she has every right to that information. As he told Poppy, any man would be proud to call her his daughter. Luna tears up. Thomas leads Hope into the showroom, which is decorated to the nines, including a candle at dinner for two. She asks if this is about Hope for the future. He says it's about the future, in a way. He has a speech he's practiced to try out on her. The future is full of uncertainty, how you get past that is to take risks and find successes. They've done it at work and personally as a couple. You trust your instincts and give second chances. Hope kept giving him more chances and for that he is so grateful. Speaking of second chances, you said you needed more time. But I think we're ready. I think we're very, very ready. It's time for you to take this ring and put it on your finger. He takes the ring from her necklace and asks, so, Hope. Make me the happiest man in the world. Say you'll be my wife. Say you'll marry me. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.